I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to introduce you into this season of Passover. I know all of us are aware we are in the season of Passover. Now, when Passover comes in, we have series of things that takes place here and there, here and there. Now, it's a commemoration of death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, today I want us to just give a, a very simple brief. Today, I was just passing by and I say, oh, let me just talk to you. Let me just talk to you and speak to you about this. Now, in Passover season, before resurrection, there is always the death experience session. Before death experience session, we always have that Gethsemane experience. Now, before the resurrection comes in, there is always a lot of shakeup that takes place to every individual in the life of every individual that is, that takes up in this area. Not just Jesus. It was just an exemplary thing for Jesus to be called into this and aspect of it to be relayed into that factor. Now, let me talk about slightly about the shake up experience now this shake up experience have a lot to do with everything that is not going into its place the surrounding your circle so much will be shaped in your circle when this experience comes into your life there are a lot of things that will shake up and the first thing that will shake up is the people around you now the second thing that will shake up is the resources around you the third thing that will shake up are the opportunities around you now i want you to talk about these three things in a very simple manner related to passover and related to the death and resurrection of jesus christ now the first shaking happens up in the people now the most trusted people around you will be shaken seriously shaken and these ones are like the people closest to you like maybe your husband your wife, your boss, your pastor, your, <laughs> your bishop, all these people will be shaken. They will take different stands to an extent you will be shocked whether you are still in the physical or you are still in the spiritual. Every of these ones shake properly. So if you come out of a shake-up environment, you have to know Jesus was shaken. His circle was clearly shaken. You hear the first mistake was in Judas. Judas now betrays Jesus Christ and then disappears. He was no part of the circle anymore. Then it goes until Jesus had only three of them left. Now the three also disappeared. We had only Peter left now. When the Peter had a small girl talk about, he was also with him and he was also shaken and Jesus was on the cross alone. Others were coming later later to find out what did they do to Jesus and some others that were around the place they were standing there to see and were amazed to know he was already on the cross they even forgot about the prophecy that was talked about that he will die and will be placed on the cross now I want to encourage you if you are in such a situation know something big is coming don't fret something great is coming your way don't fret now, I want to pray for you for that. I know you are in a situation that looks like, oh, you are in the guest money. Maybe you are in the death situation. Maybe you are in the resurrection section. Let me talk to you. Jesus won the battles way back in Gethsemane. Before even the cross, he went on to the cross after winning the battle in Gethsemane. He had won. Now, before you are crucified into any important grace, you must have won back here father in the name of jesus i pray for this sister i pray for this brother watching right now that anything you will touch will work every turmoil in your life will come down storms shall not ruin you everything in your life pertains every growth will stand for you in your victory by the power of resurrection that was bestowed around your life today in the name of jesus christ i decree it shall manifest your victory right away from now in the name of jesus christ we pray and believe go and win in your battles in jesus name my name is timothy profitable and this is blevoy tv we handle your spirituality economic and social matters see you next episode